Hello, welcome to Anu's classroom. We are doing the course on information systems for managers and in this video we will be talking about networking technologies. So by the end of this video, I hope that you will be able to understand the components of a network, types of networks, what a layered architecture is, what are communication protocols, what is the client server architecture and what is cloud architecture. So let's get started. Networking. What is it? Data communication is the movement of computer data from one computer to another. And the data may travel as an electrical or an optical si signal on these our transmission systems. Such systems are called data communication networks or simply network. And this networking helps us in getting and sending the information fast. The components of a network or a network includes the server or the host computer, the client or clients, the network interface card which helps in uh, interlinking all the nodes of the network. We will have circuits, network hubs, switches, routers, firewalls and even a network operating system. There are many types of networks and most of these network types are classified on how far apart the nodes of the network lie. A local area network or LAN connects computers that are in the same building. Whereas a metropolitan area network or MAN MAN refers to networking infrastructure in the particular municipality or a region like a metropolitan area. Statewide area networks or SWANs are a concept of connecting statewide offices at the levels of states or union territory headquarters up to the block level via district or subdivisional headquarters in a vertical hierarchical structure. Wide area networks connect computers in different cities or countries. Internet is the connection of two of two or more networks. Internet, net is short for network. Intranet is a network which connects the internal computing resources of an organization. Emphasis on the word intra, intra means within. So what is, an in, what is internet? Internet is a complete network of globally linked computers. The internet also enables users to transfer information and communication. This happens by making use of the TCP IP protocol suite while communicating. That is trans short for transfer control protocol slash internet protocol. It is available in both wired as well as wireless mode and the internet also includes a wide range of networks like private networks, public, government, organizational, etc. It supports multiple users and allows the transfer of a massive amount of data. Intranet is a part of the network, okay, but it is controlled and used by private organization. Intranet has restrictions and can support only fewer users when compared to internet. Hence, only limited data can be shared over it. Intranet is usually operated on a client-server platform, which enables the organizations to share files, data, organize information, manage and share calendars, files, etc. So, how is the intranet and internet different? A wide network of computers available for all is the internet. While intranet is a network of computers which are designed for a certain group of users only. Internet is a public network but intranet is private. Coming to network architecture. What is network architecture? Network architecture refers to a network's structural and logical layout. It describes how the network devices are connected and the rules that govern data transfer between them. There are many ways to approach network architecture design, which depends on the purpose and size of the network. Wide area networks or WAN, for example, will refer to a group of interconnected networks often spanning large distances. 
its network architecture will be vastly different from that of a local area network or lan of a smaller office branch the network topologies were discussed in an earlier video where we saw ring hybrid star bus tree topologies so what is the importance of choosing the right network architecture if there are many different kinds of them planning the network architecture is vital because it either enhances or hinders the performance of the entire networking system if we choose the wrong transmission media or equipment for a particular expected server load for instance it can cause slowdowns on the network network architecture can also facilitate security becoming increasingly important as more users user devices connect to the network the design and protocols of the network has to support quick and efficient user recognition and authorization when we design any digital network architecture we have to optimize its building blocks like the hardware user devices routers servers gateways transmission media and it could be wired or wireless protocols like tcp ip or internet protocol ethernet protocol ftp that is file transfer protocol and the like and similarly topology that is whether we should wire our nodes together in a star bus tree hybrid formats the international standards organization or iso had developed a framework for computer communication with an objective of providing a standard and this model which is provided by iso was known as the open system interconnection reference model or which is popularly short formed as osi model this osi model has seven layers and therefore it is the layered architecture each layer has a well defined function and interface and the seven layers are application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and the physical layer the client server architecture is another type of architecture which refers to a system which has hosts and delivers and manages most of the resources and services that the clients would request in this model all requests and services are delivered over a network and it is also referred to as the networking computing model or the client server network here many clients that are remote processors request and receive services from a centralized server which is called a host computer that is a server and most large networks like wans often use this client server model for its architecture cloud architecture is something that is upcoming and in the trend right now it is a way that technology components combine to build a cloud in which resources are pooled through virtualization technology and are shared across a network the components of a cloud architecture include a front end platform which is the client or devices used to access the cloud a back end platform or the servers and storage a cloud based delivery model a network together these technologies create a cloud computing architecture on which applications can run providing end users with the ability to leverage the power of cloud resources 